Sig drops the mic hard in Star Citizen against cheaters. CIG drops the mic hard in Star Citizen against exploiters. Today on June 13th, yes, at least 600 yes, Star Citizen accounts were suspended for two plus months just before an economic repair patch went live. These Star Citizen accounts, according to CIG, were flagged as the most extreme of exploiters. Some of these accounts were responsible for selling in-game AUEC for real-world currency. All right, so here we go at this point. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that shit was going on. Are you kidding me? First off, why are you going to be buying credits with real life money? I mean, come on. What kind of person are you that is going to, I mean, like, even at the state that we're in right now, for God's sake, I mean, really? You know what I'm saying? It, ugh. Point I have laughed myself into a freaking oblivion about this guy's name because he is Will the Soul Crusher Leverett. <laughs> He's literally the senior director of player relations, and this is what he just posted today. Here's an update on AUEC exploiters and account suspensions. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, this guy's like a little too wackadoo when he's. I mean, like, come on, man. I know. I mean, like, it's it's good news, but Jesus Christ, this guy's like taking this shit personally, like somebody pissed inside of his house or something. You know, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it's great news, but Jesus, dude, settle down just a little bit. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? I'm Will the Soul Crusher. <laughs> okay, okay. We've completed an investigation into multiple exploits within Star Citizen that compromised the stability and negativity impacted the in-game economy. Yeah, yeah, yes it did. As a result, we have resolved multiple AUE. First off, I have to say what economy. I mean, let's be real about this. You know, we're in Alpha State still. Nothing's really persistent yet. We come back in. They can wipe out everything we've gained with any new patch that they want to. Until real persistence comes in, none of this shit even matters. You know, a lot of us want this gameplay to mean a lot more. And in order for this gameplay to mean a lot more, for, for it to actually be substantial for us to, like, say, wow, we're, we're accruing value. We're accruing this purchasing power in this game that we're accruing wealth. We need an economy that means a lot more than what it currently is, you know? That's why it's, like, ugh, I can't even believe that people are paying real-life money for credits in a game that's in this state right now. It just is ridiculous. We see exploits in 3.23.1a yeah. and have identified and suspended over 600 accounts. <laughs> Involved yeah, in and, and the duping was a was a bug uh, that that Sig is responsible for. They sh and they caught the exploit, and that's great, you know. Um, and the people that were duping are ridiculous. I mean, like you know, they just wanted those quick creds over and over again. But then to take it outside of the game and to sell for real life money, and then actually people buying it is that's even like crazier. Exploited like, behaviors fuck? while also removing the illicitly gained AUEC from the Star Citizen ecosystem. Literally seconds ago in Burke's chat, there was a person that said, Pirate scum? I've duped over 400 million, and I have not been suspended. Well, yeah, here's the thing, pirate scum, dude. You might be an exploiter, but they were after the, you know, big fish this time. Bro, this is basically a statement and a warning, so by all means, keep on exploiting. Cheating and exploiting undermine the integrity of our game and efforts of our dedicated backers who help us build Star Citizen. I'm not defending these assholes that are duping because they're assholes. I mean, it's ridiculous behavior in a game that's an alpha state, but also to not defend to SIG. Cause Sig's the you know Sig left this exploit in the fucking game. You know what I mean? Like I'm glad they got to it finally and fixed this shit. We take these actions seriously and assure you that we are continuously developing additional measures against cheating and exploitation. We will continue to prioritize tree tree. Jesus, guys, why do you need to say it that way? See, the saddest part about all this triaging and all this prioritizing is this bug was well known in EPTU, which is sad. More on that later. At this stage of development, exploits and issues like these are likely to arise. 
which is one of the benefits of open development and working closely with our community, identifying, testing, and reporting exploits is acceptable and encouraged. We've gained valuable insights through your issue council reports, and we thank you for that. However, yeah, this is the part where Soul Crusher steps in and, you know, crushes your soul. Once an exploit is identified and confirmed, continued abuse for personal gain will not be tolerated and will result in action on our part. I guess maybe unless you're like Pirate Scum Guy, he only exploited 400 million, I mean, for his own personal gain. That's I guess crazy. he wasn't big enough. Sketches, I guarantee you, if you look at eBay Star Citizen, AUEC sold only over the last five years, it's thousands upon thousands. Over 100,000, says Sketch. Jesus. I didn't realize that there was a market for this. I can't imagine. I mean, like, like that's crazy. That's crazy to me. In the state that it's in right now, that people are buying the AUC, buying creds with real-life money right now, and the state that it's in is the more crazy thing to me. Like, that's a real-life exploit where you want to just kind of examine people's brain cases a little bit, you know? Like, uh, maybe if you're trying to rent rent a ship in the game or something and you just want to get, you know, fast-boated over just to try the ship or something in the game, actually, okay. But, you know, on the regular, like, pfft, like Trip probably did that. He was saying something about that earlier, I think. But, I mean, to me, what's the biggest problem is the economy is the game design when it comes to the economy, is the lack of uh, economic gameplay, period. What needs to happen is Tony Z needs to fucking get on and talk about the economy, even if it's just a little appetizer. I want to hear what's, what's, what's coming. Like, uh, you know, we need this stuff to start tying together. We need, we need the mining and the manufacturing that isn't even in the game yet, the crafting. We, we need these pieces to start fitting together. And I know we need dynamic server meshing. I've heard that a million times. I want talk about it. I want coverage on it. I want the economic team out there on Inside Star Citizen. I want to hear where we're at, what's in the works, when we're thinking that there's going to be more in-depth gameplay in terms of the economy because that's what keeps asses in seats of a fish so maybe this is a warning for people like him who knows guess we'll find out once again soul crusher here is really super appreciative of our efforts in flagging recent issues and your general supporting in utilizing the issue council we'll keep you updated as we continue to develop measures to ensure fair play yeah that's gonna be really really handy to have you know by 4.0 and 1.0, especially 1.0. Thanks and see you in the verse because I am Will, the Soul Crusher, Leverett. Senior Director. This guy sounds like uh, that dude on Sirius uh, th that does on Channel 40, the metal channel, like Jose Metal Ambassador Mangan. <laughs> like, I am Jose Middle Ambassador Mangan, man. I love that dude. I love that motherfucker on Sirius Radio, dude. <laughs> uh, player relations. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Hawks Gaming, 104,000 subscribers. 104,000 subscribers? <laughs> Really? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? What the fuck, YouTube algorithm? Or what the fuck is going on here? Hi, everybody. Welcome to DG360. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on over here? Guys, fucking, like, what is going on? That gives, that gives like, all the the YouTube content creators around the world are, like, crying right now. Because they're like, how in the fuck does this even happen? Like, how does this even happen? Oh, my God. That is the best handle I have ever heard anybody with player relations have. Especially when they're crushing <laughs> your soul. Am I surprised CIG is finally taking this stance? <gasps> nope. It's about time, really. There is a difference between discovering an economic bug, testing it with multiple people to see if it can be reproduced, and then making a step-by-step -step bug report of the team's findings. 
It's entirely different to know the steps, but not having the self-control or the care to stop yourself from doing it over and over, day in, day out, even if you contribute to said bug report. That's not helping to get the issue fixed. It's simply exploiting as long as you possibly can. As a community, we can which can be fixed by good game design. I mean, good game design will fix all that shit. And, you know, that's that's that 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 weight lies on the shoulders of the developers. You know, like you got to close all those loopholes so that people co don't continually exploit the game in such a manner and that comes down to game design, period. You know, and allow game breaking economic bugs to make it into 1.0 if we can the game itself is the game itself has an economic game breaking bug, which is to say that there is no economy <laughs> like we need an economy. We need economic gameplay. We have the mechanics set in in baby infancy stage, but we do not have what I would call an economy right now. Would you guys say that there is a thriving economy in Star Citizen's Alpha State? I wouldn't. I love Star Citizen, but there's there's nothing in the game right now that makes me feel like it's a living, thriving economy. Right. I mean, let's be real about this shit, you know. Right. Like, there's there's no living, thriving economy right now. Right. We need manufacturing. Right, Gator. Right. Absolutely. We need manufacturing and crafting. Absolutely, Gator. You're right on point, dude. You are right on point. But we need some talk about it. We need some talk about it. I want to Citizen Con better have, like, an economic panel. I swear to God. And Tony Z better be there. Where the fuck is he? Well, I want some news on Tony Z. I'm going to pound the table on this. Where the fuck is Tony Z? Release him. Release him from the basement, from the dungeon. Or tell us that he quit. Tell us what's going on with Tony Z. Where is Tony Z? Yeah, we need proof of life, right? Proof of life. Tony Z, where are you at? And if Tony Z's not there, holy shit. That's going to be a holy shit moment. <clears throat> that's. I'm going to tell you what. If Tony Z is gone, that's a big holy shit moment. Do you guys agree with that? Put a one in chat if you guys agree with that. If Tony Z is gone, that's a one big holy shit moment for me in this journey. I'm putting a one right now. Like, I will be like, what? Yeah, that is a huge one right there. That is a one. Yeah. I don't know, Erad. I don't know why you would put two. Tony Z's been here from the beginning. Tony Z's like a right-hand man to Chris. Tony Z's pretty smart when it comes to game design in terms of economies, in-game economies. And if he is not in Cloud Imperium, that's a big holy shit moment for me. So we do disagree on that, Erad. We do disagree on that. I, and I disagree with you as well, Star, but that's okay. It's, co it's cool. I don't like echo chambers. So if you guys disagree, that's okay. Tony Z did shit. Nothing is in the game. That's not true, man. I mean, look, like Quantum's in the works. Quantum's already something that the algorithm's ready to go. Apparently, according to him, it's locked and loaded, or at least it was from the Citizen Con we saw, dude. So, like, it's locked and loaded waiting for fucking server meshing, for dynamic server meshing, bro. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, if he's gone, and, and then, then what was that that we were fed? What was that? Were those, was that like a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down? You know what I'm saying, dude? So, like, if, if Tony Z is gone, that is a one. That is a big one for me. So, we, we shall see. Yes, we shall see, my friend. We shall see. Can help it. What CIG really needs to do after taking this right, stand is right. making it a focus in Evo Cuddy. If Quantum's done and that's it, well, okay, that's cool. Like, then I'm happy, right? <laughs> right, you got a point there, buddy. Like, if, if, if Quantum is done... And, you know, most of the work is done and it was waiting on server meshing and it's just waiting in the wings to be deployed. Yeah, then Tony Z leaving is not such a big deal. Although, you know, you kind of want the guy that created the uh, the mapping and the coding to still be with the company regardless if it is done, locked and loaded in the barrel waiting to be shot. But I still think it's a one for me. Like, I, I, I it would be a big deal for me. It would be a big deal if Tony Z were gone. <laughs> and EPTU to find and squash them before it gets out of hand. Even then, it's likely too late to help. This last economic bug was discovered in 3.23 right EPTU, yet the patch was still pushed to the live Star Citizen PU. I know trying to keep schedules is important, but y'all, the second PU went live, this bug was exploited instantly. I chose not to make a video as it was already a no- 
this is, I don't even understand. I don't even understand this video, and I don't even understand 106. No, no offense to this guy. He's killing it, 140,000 subscribers. I'm just a little fish with 20,000 subscribers, for God's sake. He must be doing something right. Hell if I know what it is, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's magic secret sauce is, but keep on doing it, bro. And, you know, the thing is, is I'm glad these cheaters got banned. I hate fucking cheaters. I can't stand cheaters in any game, even in an alpha state. But on the other hand, where the fuck is the economy at? Let's, let's get a real economy going here. Or at least some talks about it, right? 